in these times of amazing opportunity, but also uh, amazing amounts of confusion and stupidity going on, and you want to take charge of your life, and you want to be able to be in control, and just live a beautiful, better life, uh, and have the freedom to do what you want, when you want, and not be affected by all the craziness going on out there, there is not any step in the world more important than getting some land and building yourself a structure to support your life. Ah oh, yes, good old Aircrete. So if you don't know, Aircrete is Portland cement, specifically one bag of Portland cement that is inflated to six cubic feet using five gallons of water and five ounces of Drexel foam agent or perhaps 16 ounces of a dish soap to give us a whole lot of bubbles that we then mix into the air creek and it makes it lightweight and insulating. So you have a structural, strong building material. But what other people might not tell you about Aircrete is that there are some safety concerns. No, Will Robinson. Danger. Safety concern number one is it is a high alkali material. That is the pH. So typically on a scale you have acid and alkaline and either one will eat through metals, they'll eat through your skin and actually cement is not so different. And you could put on one of these face diapers and pretend to be safe. But unlike Cooties 19, you know for a fact that this isn't stopping cement, a, a rather large particle in comparison to Cooties 19. And the reason you'll know is at the end of the day, your lungs may hurt, you may have reduced breathing capacity, and you'll have black and gray boogers. So it's very important to wear an N95 uh, respirator that completely seals around your face. There can be no air bypassing the mask. You need a good particulate air filter to protect your lungs. Um, maybe you'll get away with mixing one bag holding your breath, but you can't hold your breath all day. And prolonged exposure to high alkaline material is very bad for your respiratory tract and potentially for your eyes. So you'll also want a good pair of goggles. Luke, I am your alkali. That's correct. Aircrete does have a dark side. Not only can you inhale it and damage the delicate lung tissue in your body, but if you get the cement on your clothing or the aircrete and your clothing gets wet and stays in contact with your skin for an extended period of time, you very possibly could develop alkali burns. Also, when wearing gloves, if you get aircrete or cement inside of your gloves and you don't remove the glove and dry your hand, you can get alkali burns. So, as long as you're aware of this, do not let wet cement come in contact with your skin for extended periods of time and do not breathe the dust. If you can do that, then you can build safely with aircrete. After all, millions of workers worldwide successfully and safely work with cement and you can too. The next safety concern with Aircrete has to do with its structural qualities. Um, typically when we're building with Aircrete, we're using a green block or we're building on top of green material that was only cast 24 hours or less the day before. And at that point, Aircrete is very fragile. It can be broken. If you give it a good hard bump, it may not even look broken, but there's now a fracture in it which will surface as a crack at a later time. So you have to avoid abusing it and beating it around and putting excessive weight on it. And to the ends of excessive weight, when you're building with it, I want you to calculate the weight of all of the cement to the very top of the structure, its entire volume, including the water weight. And you want the, the pounds per square inch divided over the cross-sectional square inches of the wall to be around 10 pounds per square inch or less. And this is very important because you want it to remain strong and intact while you build. 
Now in 28 days, your air creep's going to be completely cured. And if you're following the recipe and making it right, you're gonna have a class five cellular cement that's gonna support 170 or more pounds per square inch. So a massive safety margin. In fact, did you know if you take the same cross-sectional area inside of a studded two by four wall and you were to fill it with air creep, the aircrete has the compressive capacity to hold more weight than that wall that perhaps that stick box house you're living in now has. So aircrete is fireproof, flood rot proof. If you build a round or dome structure, it's storm proof. It's uh, pest proof. Uh, you're not gonna have mice getting in here and pooping and peeing inside your walls and making it unhealthy to live in. And speaking of healthy, it's a non-toxic building material. It does not off-gas anything harmful to you once this stuff's built out and cured, sure, it's gonna absorb some CO2 even from the environment in the curing process. But it's a very wonderful material that's insulative to build in. And the formula is like, well, we gave you right here at the beginning of this video. You, it's easy to make. Just go out and do it because only experience is going to give you what you need to truly get something done. You're going to have to go out and do something. And building as perhaps even another safety warning is hard work. It is hard work. But anybody can learn to do it. And which do you think would be harder? going to a job you hate that mentally bothers you for 25 to 30 years or working your ass off for two to four weeks to build you a house. You tell me what's, what's hard. So if, however, you really want to get a jump on things and you want to know that you know that you know that you can build Air Creek because you've done it, click the link below in the description and check out our workshop coming up this October. We're going to start from the bare ground. We're going to build the foundation, put in the plumbing. We're going to slip form up a cast in place monolithic uh, Adobe Pueblo style air creeps, tiny house, micro house structure out. And we're going to then put in the, the flooring. We're going to put in worm composting flush toilets. We're going to put in solar uh, power systems. We're going to show you how to design those power systems how to size the battery bank, in fact, how to build the battery bank from scratch for a tremendous savings of money. We're going to show you how to wire that house. We're going to show you how to both size and install air conditioning in the house. Because what use is a shell if you can't comfortably live in it? And it's always those specialty skills that cost so much money. You hire an electrician and they're charging you $500 an hour to send the flunky out to hook something up and then you have no idea what's really going on or how to fix it later. So these skills transfer to any form of building, not just aircrete. But come out this October 9th through the 22nd, a, a 14 day uh, alternative building school where we're going to put all the skills in your hands to be able to build and finish your own home. There is no other workshop like this, no other workshop is more complete. And this next year, we're going to have to be going up on the price to about two grand um, because materials are getting expensive and it takes a lot of commitment on my part to even make these workshops available. So I really encourage you, if possible, get in there this year, uh, put in your deposit uh, and get out there to this workshop and learn how you can build your own functional off-grid tiny house or enormous house if you choose and get off grid get out of the city uh, be prepared to uh, stay clear of the craziness as we have our little societal reset because you know they tell you oh just a couple weeks oh just a vaccination and now coochie's coming out and saying that we're not going to actually just get one vaccination or even a series of vaccinations that it's never going away and not everybody subscribes to the whole new normal thing. A lot of us feel a call to just wonderful freedom. And to do that, we need debt-free, affordable structures. And I've built every form of building, and it is my opinion that Aircrete as a structural insulation is the best choice. It does not require heavy machinery, it does not require excavations, and with a little affordable, appropriate technology, it can be comfortable 
in any climate. In fact, we're even going to show you how to use nanotechnology on these structures to reflect 98% of the heat that a hot location might pump into one of these structures. So you could conceivably even make it a passive structure with a little thermal mass on the inside. Or maybe you want to have the discussion about night sky radiant cooling put into the thermal mass of the floor so that you can then just circulate a light fan over the interior of the floor to keep yourself comfortable all day. It's just amazing what's possible. So I invite you, click that link below in the description and find out more. If you can't attend our physical workshop, then we also offer a complete how-to step-by-step video guide on how to build your house. And right now, when you order that course, you also get the inclusion of the introduction to Air Creek course uh, which teaches you how to make a dome out of aircrete. So in these times of amazing opportunity, but also uh, amazing amounts of confusion and stupidity going on, and you want to take charge of your life, and you want to be able to be in control, and just live a beautiful, better life, uh, and have the freedom to do what you want, when you want, and not be affected by all the craziness going on out there, there is not any step in the world more important than getting some land and building yourself a structure to support your life. Because let's face it, unless, and you, live, uh, unless you live in Hawaii where it's eternally spring, uh, or you live in a climate that averages like Taos, New Mexico, 50 at night and 100 during the day, it's a perfect 75 inside, then you need insulation. You need something more than a mud house. You need uh, something like aircrete because you can go out and get a bag of cement anywhere in the world and you can build a house that's multi-generational. And I don't care what they say about the CO2 production of cement. We're talking about a small amount of CO2 over two generations. And secondly, you can take the wastewater from your structure, plant 25 trees and completely zero the carbon footprint of such a home. And it's a home that's not going to be rotting down over your head by the time you've paid it off. So. Check out that link in the description below and I look forward to seeing you at the Trilingual School of Alternative Building.